beautiful photograph on the left I found on the internet. Here is the piece of the building facing Madison Square, facing Madison Avenue. There is your arena with your little retractable roof, but it's still a retractable roof. And there is your 32-story high tower, at the top of which was a statue that totally scandalized its... Uh, there it is up there. You, you, I mean, you can hardly see it, which most of America was just as happy you could hardly see it. The top of the building had a weather vane that was actually a nude statue of Diana, the goddess of the hunt, after all, it was for equestrians, uh, Madison Square Garden. But she was a nude statue that served as a weather vane, and she swiveled, no less, so you could see every detail. And as a result, all the old guys of New York would gather in Madison Square with their binoculars. Uh, nannies would push their kids out of the way when they'd look at, at the top, and Diana was swinging around, and they'd say, what is that? And she, you know, they, they were told to kind of be quiet, and they'll find out when they grow up. The rest of the country was absolutely mortified that a naked woman could be seen from all over New York City. The Philadelphia newspaper said, what do you expect of the depraved taste of New York? The New York Times shot back that beauty would never be seen as lasciviousness were it not for the Philadelphians. So we got back at them. Um, the irony of that argument, by the way, when this was demolished in the 1920s, where is Diana today? She's in the Philadelphia Museum of Art at the end of the Benjamin Franklin Parkway, where, by the way, she gets a beautiful uh, uh, site of honor there at the staircase.